we wanted to bring clowning poetry to Cleveland because they are multidisciplinary performers. They have an incredible uh, stage presence. Um, we thought it was a perfect opportunity to partner with our neighbors right down the street at the East Cleveland Public Library. East Cleveland is the place where I had my childhood, but I came to adulthood in Brooklyn, so to have these particular women here who are part of my extended tribe of artists in, in Brooklyn is really meaningful. Because what they do is what libraries are really about, you know, is to think about what's going on in the world and take that information in and synthesize it into something that is meaningful to you. They presented a spoken word performance that was multidisciplinary and it was filled with messages about environmental justice and social activism. In New Orleans, morning glories have been planted to pull toxins from the land and the stories of survivors have inspired self-reliance, mobilized 10,000 minds and hands to rebuild dignity and life outside of what the government had planned. So the workshop that we we did at the library was all about cultural activism through collecting stories and testimonies and a central part of that is a project called Stitched which is uh, something that Climbing Poetry started uh, in 2005 and Stitched it's a story gathering project that is this incredible multicolored tapestry that holds more than 10,000 stories, testimonies, intentions, truths confessions, healing expressions, and dreams that are written by audience members and workshop participants from people all over the world. Petals folded like dreams of lotus that bloomed in murky water. So what I think of when I see the red and all of what it's really sharing, because I've always been a really big fan of the Venus of Willendorf because she's a full body goddess. And I can remember so many times we raised how being a big girl was an issue. There have been big people on the planet forever. In addition to working on Stitch, Climate Poetry had us up on our feet and we were interacting with one another and sharing ideas on some of the various injustices in this world and how we can overcome them, how, how we can bring attention to them. To live in a community and know that you can go to a place like like the library and actually be identified as someone important is nice. So to have these artists come and they represent on so many levels their audience is so much healing in that and people are more apt to learn. The transfer of knowledge is so much greater when you can look outside of yourself to see yourself. There's um, there are a lot of diversity in the audiences that are attracted to MOCA and the audiences that are attracted to the East Cleveland Public Library. And so combining those and encouraging that, that's really meaningful for us and something that, that we are really proud to do. Destiny will give birth to itself, respiraling the cycle of the universe's chest rising with each breath. Will we be there? to exhale.